Well, welcome back to another one on this Texas trip. Today we're going to be talking about slip bobbers. This is actually a special kind of slip bobber. Um, you may have seen me use one type of it. Actually, it's kind of its bigger brother during the junk fishing video that I did uh, during this trip. This is kind of the uh, middle size. Basically, it is a spring tension style, bother, style bobber, so it's weighted. And when the, the crappie come up, I'm using live minnows today. Aberdeen hook, split shot. When the crappie come up and hit it, they can slowly pull that line all the way through without feeling the tension of the actual float. So your hookup ratio should be better. And the reason I'm actually using this slip style float today because midday crappie fishing, especially on, seems like on Lake Fork, uh, can be really tough this time of year. Um, from that 11 till 2.30, 3 o'clock, that bite window, or I should say that non-bite window, um, it's it's pretty tough. Right now I'm fishing timber on the edge of a creek channel, uh, pretty typical for this time of year, uh, November, December, probably into, into October even. Uh, once a water temp starts cooling into the, si the 60s and probably the 50s, uh, these fish will stack up on the edge of these current systems. Um, Unfortunately, this time of day, it can be really tough. They can be super lethargic, really don't want to bite anything. So you got to stick a minnow right in front of their face. The best way to do that is with a, a bobber. And uh, you don't want them to feel any tension. So that's why I'm using this style bobber today. It is a basic slip bobber uh, setup. I got the rubber bobber stop on the line. This is eight pound monofilament, 1000 size PC Font Honor XT. I'm using the eight foot ACC rod. Uh, this is by far my favorite slip bobber rod. And then this is the Boss Bobber by Rotten Bobs. Eighth ounce split shot, and then this is the Zone Lock hook. For those of you who have not seen any of my videos, this is the Zone Lock specialty hook. It's got a little bit of a bend right there. Helps keep your minnow on. Um, also, it protects that fish's mouth from not getting tore up. So your hookup ratio is a little bit better that way. So we're gonna be using live minnows going up to uh, little pieces of timber. It seems like the smaller pieces of timber that are kind of branched out, that's where these crappie are holding. Uh, the single big pieces of timber haven't really been able to find many fish on them, at least in this part of the lake. So we're all tied up. Let's just get a minnow hooked up and uh, start catching some crappie. Found a good pile of them on the live scope. Gonna grab us a nice lively minnow. A little deep. I, last time I was fishing with this, I was a little deeper. Fishing 42 feet of water. I think it was fishing 25 feet down. Now I'm fishing in 25 feet of water. 20 feet down. So. There he is. Finally. Oh my gosh, there are a bunch of white bass down there. That's what they are. Thought it was a bunch of crappie, but they're a bunch of white bass. Itty bitty baby white bass. See you, buddy. Maybe they're all white bass. Gosh dang it. There's a fish. I think it's better. Feels like a crappie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. They're not all white bass. There we go. Just had to lead that minnow right in front of his face. Caught him. Super lethargic crappie. Barely hung on to that. That's a probably weigh this guy. First one. <laughs> Catfish. There he is. Wasn't paying attention. Got him. Got him. Got to put that minnow right in front of their nose. This guy's just a little guy compared to what we have been catching on the lake. Still a solid eating fish though. Solid eating fish. I 
as you can see, this is fairly uh, fairly tedious to get these crappie to bite. For whatever reason, this has been kind of this way, like the midday, noon till about 2.30. time is it now? 2.45. Noon to about 2.30, 3 o'clock. It's, uh, it's been a grind. So I was hoping to kind of switch it up with these minnows. And maybe get a few more crappie to bite. Got two, but uh, I was hoping to catch at least you know, half a dozen or so. This part of the day is a grind. I know people ask in the comment section, you know, what do you do for midday crappie? Because midday crappie, midday anything, can be tough, really tough. And um, as far as what I do, I just get a minnow, try to set it in front of their face with a slip bobber. I don't vertically jig them because you know, you're drifting around with the boat and you're constantly moving it. Slip bobber, it's right there. Especially on days like this, no wind, that bobber's not moving much at all so there he is oh is he tangled in a tree or what's he doing here slow slow bite but uh slowly getting the job done it's crappie number three they're not taking the bobber all the way down. I mean, it's they're barely, barely sucking it in. And the, the only way I can tell is if the bobber actually just has a little bit of wobble to it. Crappie number three. Oh, damn. Got him that time. Ooh, that's, I don't think that's a crappie. I'm thinking that's a big old catfish. Nasty one. A little excitement in the middle of the day. This is a crappie, it's a record. Nope, it's a drum. We got ourselves a freshwater drum. That GoPro just shut off. I was hoping you were a big old crappie. But nope. That'd be one of these ugly nasty things. That would have been a nice crappie. Definitely our two pounder. But no, you had to be a stupid drum. Well, unfortunately, as most midday bites go, uh, up north, these cro the crappie up north are gonna be a lot more aggressive. These ones on this lake are highly pressured. So I wasn't expecting much. Honestly, I was expecting to get, a, a true goal was about six fish in the hour and a half to two hours that I was gonna be out here uh, during this midday period. There's no wind, virtually glass, water, bluebird skies. Really not the greatest biting conditions. Um, got the drum, that was a little bit of a surprise. But there you go, this is the Boss uh, Spring Tension Bobber by Rod and Bobs. The entire rig will be in the video description. It's getting a little warm out even for, this is November and it's like 75 degrees. This is too warm for this Wisconsin boy. Um, Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions about the setup or anything I was doing, how I found these fish, post them in the comment section below. Otherwise you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you.